No, it's not creepy at all. It is an honor to meet you. Thank the you, David. Saw series, I mean, reinvented the horror genre and took violence and gore to a whole other level. So why do you think people love to be scared by Saw so much? Like, why are we so captivated by it? Uh, I, th I think that the concepts in the film um, resonate with people, and I think they particularly resonate a concept like um, appreciating your life and not taking things for granted. That's a simple one. When you surround a simple idea like that with so much chaos and so much intensity, uh, violence, um, the stakes, which are quite high, and then you introduce those concepts when surrounded by that kind of intense music, um, it, it, the idea resonates with people and it somehow sits inside them and they leave the theater and fans talk to me all the time about, when they talk to me about the film, they talk about some of the things that get talked about. Um, uh, I've had groups of skateboard kids approach me and talk about um, ideas in the film. They don't talk about this trap or that this thing, or this victim, or this, they, 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 I've had them say, they teach you stuff. Mm. And I say, like what, you know? And they say, like you're supposed to appreciate your life. And I'm like, wow, you know, that they're talking about, instead of, because usually, you know, kids will they'll be drawn to action, you mm. know, and that kind of thing. but. So, but I think that it's like a symphony, you know, there's, you have a very slow section and then you have a very up-tempo section and then you return to a slow section. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's the proper mix of ideas with intensity, you know. I mean, John Kramer talks about karma. Does it exist? Doesn't exist? He, he talks about, um, I mean, it, it brings to mind uh, one line where he says to Cecil, he says, Cecil, good doesn't follow good nor bad, nor does bad follow bad in life. He said, some people stop to help a stranded motorist and get taken out by a passing semi. Others lie, cheat, and get elected. So when you say something like that, when you're surrounded by this kind of intensity, it's like boom it comes. It, so that's what makes it fun, makes it interesting and and compelling. I think for fans. Oh, what did you ask me? Absolutely. No, yeah, no, that yeah, was yeah, a perfect yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. And as you watch the Saw films, they progressively push boundaries and get more and more gory and violent. Was there ever a time making these movies that you were like, "This is too much"? Like I'm utterly grossed out. No. Well. I, that's not my job. Um, my job is to bring as much humanity to John Kramer as I possibly can. I think um, Peter and Michael Spirig, who directed this film, had it clearly in mind that they wanted to make a film that reduced the level of, of gore. Uh, um, that was their desire to do, but still to keep the film powerful in that way, because people go to horror films to be scared and to be terrified and to be thrown back in their chair and um, have a visceral experience. So, um, but do, I don't think about that. I think about what's going through John Kramer's head and why he does what he does. Besides John Kramer, of course, do you have a favorite horror villain? I think Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I thought his performance was subtle and um, believable and terrifying. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you can do any better than that. Didn't he win an Academy Award for that? He did. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Uh, maybe, oh, he certainly was nominated for yeah. it. Yeah. He's also very, it's an intelligent, oh, thoughtful it's very, yeah. uh, villain. Just and like very John logical. Kramer. You know, there was a certain logic to what he was doing that 
that if you can if you can create that awareness uh, where the viewer kind of rides along with you and and understands what you're doing then that's Absolutely. pretty amazing yeah thank you so much yeah it was thank great you to meet you it's a pleasure Dave thank you okay